Uh, we're just after taking uh, this uh, big fellow book, huge uh, body size, and I'm going to do things a little differently today. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a suspended grolloch. That means a grolloch with him hanging up. Uh, we didn't film him hanging him up because <laughs> we struggled. He's a big animal. He's, uh, he's an old book. He's an old book going back. He has loads of scars and everything from fighting. You can see all the scars. So he was a dominant book, but you can even see by the thickness of his neck, he is a big old boy. He's a huge size. And that, that's where the bullet exited. I actually shot him the other side at the base of the neck there and it came out there and he still managed to run. So, as I say, the first thing we're doing is we're looking at the animal for any abnormalities, any bumps or anything unusual. And we checked him before I hung him up and everything like that was normal. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna bleed, bleed our animal. Very little blood coming out as he was shot in the chest area. It's straight up there in between the breastbone and that and down. Then we'll just follow on down. We'll just pull out the, the, wind, the wind pipe and the food pipe. Here we have them. And we'll take it down to the vice box. Then we'll, you can see already, a bit of green coming out. We don't want that inside our animal. So we'll give that a scrape. Now, that's tied off. No green will spill inside our carcass. And then, we we'll grab the testes and removed. I'm using one of the knives we got into the shop and work. Um, I was given this knife just to try it out. It's the swing blaze. It's orange color, so if you leave it in the grass, you'll spot it. And, that, and you'll see the other function with it now in a second. These are available in Lakelands, Mullingar. There's the pizzle removed. Then we make a small cut there. And then we get our swing blade, swing it over, place it in, and that way. But no chance, no chance of um, uh, hitting the green offal. Now we'll come around here. We'll return our knife to our edge and we'll move the bung all the way around. Clear the prostrate on the top, then just clearing it. and then just making sure everything is cleared. We have the bung cleared. Then all we have to do is reach, reach inside. Keeping the bung outside our animal. Follow down the back. What I'm doing here is separating the, or splitting the diaphragm. Make sure all the green offal is outside. Taking my knife down the back, the lungs, the whole way down to the back. Then I can 
reach inside. These bigger animals are a little tougher. All out. Now we have everything, everything outside. And then all we have to do and there we have the whole lot from the bung. You can see there where the bullet passed through his lungs. You can just check the lungs. Everything there is fine. That's where the bullet passed in through the lungs. His liver. I notice when they're rutting, the liver can be a paler color, but at this time of year, that's perfectly normal. There's no sign of fluke or anything. There's no cysts. There's no abnormalities. The kidneys are fine. Everything is perfect. And you can see here where the blood has built up where the bullet has gone through the chest cavity. That's why we didn't get a, a bleed out. So we have him boned and grollocked and that's a suspended grollock on what I class as a, a big old book, huge body size.